Thomas the Tank and Jen and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 3, Thumper Saves the Day. One bright sunny morning on the island of Sodor, Oliver, the great western agent, was pulling some trucks full of gravel. It was for the new construction site. He went up Gordon's Hill, and on the, t and on the top he decided to rest. There loomed the construction site with Thumper and Boulder. Oliver hadn't really liked Boulder ever since he was put on the island of Sodor. The workman says he was just a big chunk of rock that needed to sit there for a while. Oliver never really got it, but something was mysterious about Boulder today. He seemed like he would fall off any second, and Oliver was worried. He told Toad about his problems. I agree with you, Mr. Oliver, said Toad. He doesn't, he doesn't look in a safe position. Hmm, said Oliver. I think the best way that I can deal with my problem is to go talk to the Fat Controller. And Toad agreed with him. Just then, when Oliver puffed into the station, the Fat Controller was there. Sir, said Oliver, uh, Toad and I just went past the construction site, and Thump and Boulder doesn't look safe on the mountain. I agree with you, said the Fat Controller. I must get that fixed at once. I've noticed that, too. Okay, thank you, sir, said Oliver. No, thank you, he said. I'm glad when the engines ask about their island. And the Fat Controller walked away. Then Oliver headed off to the docks. When he came into the docks, he saw a Scarlowian Reneus. Have you guys seen what's happened to, th ha what's seen what's happened to Boulder? Asked Oliver. Yeah, said Scarlowy. It looks like he's going to fall off any second. He's in a very dangerous posi position, said Reneus. I wouldn't like to be those workmen right now. I agree with you, he said. Hmm, I don't really know of anything that I could do. But I just have to deliver these trucks to the, to the construction site. I'll be off now. You have fun with that, they said. And Oliver puffed away. Just then, Oliver came to the construction site, but he couldn't go any farther. There was a sign that there was a sign that read "Stop." Oh, bother," said Oliver. "Huh? I wonder why they made me stop." But soon he realized Thumper was at work. He was drilling into the mountain. He better be careful," said Oliver. "I don't want him. I don't want Boulder to fall down." Thumper continued on drilling, and everything went as planned, until Salty puffed in. He was carrying some cargo cars, but there wasn't a workman or any stop sign on his track to warn him that, Bolt, that Thumper was drilling. Hope he noticed this, said Oliver, but he didn't. But then, even more panicking, Oliver realized that Boulder was moving. That's weird, he said. Never seen Boulder move like that. Oliver was very scared now. Salty had no Salty had no idea that Boulder that Boulder was moving. He stopped right under Boulder. Watch out, said Oliver. What? said Salty, what? Just go backwards quick and Salty obeyed. Just then Thumper accidentally hit a struck in the rock. It jolted Boulder and it jolted Boulder down the mountain. The workmen were very pleased. Thanks to your quick thinking, Oliver, he said, you've saved Salty and all of us from a, from a devastating accident. You're welcome, said Oliver. But Thumper didn't feel very happy. Oh, he said, it's all my fault. If I hadn't been drilling right there, the boulder would have never fallen down. Oh, I should be ashamed of myself. By next morning, boulder was put back up on top of the mountain. And Thumper came, in, came, to, came to work. Just then, Henry puffed up on Gordon's hill, and he decided the rest there. Huh, he is lucky he gets the rest. I have to work 24-7, no matter what. He was about to start drilling when his driver forgot, forgot his ham sandwich. Oh, I have to go get it, he said. That's my lunch. He backed Thumper out of the way. Okay, he's, I'll wait here. Just then he realized something. Salty was coming with some cable to put Boulder up on the higher 
to put Boulder up on a higher end so he wouldn't fall. But suddenly, Boulder started moving again. Uh-oh, that's bad, he said. Bad, bad, bad. Then he realized something also. Henry had awoken from his nap, and he started to move down the mountain. Oh, no, he said. Just then, Boulder fell from his fell from the top, and he rolled on to the main line, and he got stuck stuck up on the mountain. Oh no! Said Thumper, and look, there's Henry. Stop! Yelled Thumper. Watch out for Boulder! But it was too late. Henry had already started down the hill. Ah! And he knocked into it. Oh! Then Henry fell over the hill. Ah! Oh! He said, "Ouch!" But that wasn't the worst of it. Boulder was now running down the main line. Oh no, he said. If it rolls down the main line, it could crash into the station. I have to do something, and he ran onto the track. Hopefully this will stop it, he said. And Boulder ran down the mountain and crash. Boulder was stopped, but Thumper lay on his side. Oh, he said. But the workmen were very pleased. Thanks to... Thanks for being a nice blocker, they said. If it had been for you, you could have caught you could have that boulder could have caused a devastating accident. You're welcome, said Thumper. And so soon Salty arrived with the cables and Thumper was put back on top of his mountain. Hopefully he'll stay there and he'll never come down again.